Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to sign up for a CPQ developer org for Salesforce. There are a lot of different reasons why you'd want to do this. Maybe you're working on the CPQ certification or you just wanna learn more about CPQ or you're trying to decide if these features are good for your company in the future. All of them are great reasons. And there are, is a difference between a regular org, developer org that you can get for free from Salesforce and a CPQ org. The CPQ org has all of the different functions and features that a CPQ license would. And so you're able to do that functionality which you wouldn't be able to in another org. So I will link this link down below so then you can go ahead and sign up, but I'm just gonna go ahead and start signing up for it. Putting in my first and last name and then my email that I'm going to be using for this. And then choose role, company name. Oh, I forgot to put in a valid email. There we go. And then you'll want to put in your country and then your postal code. That is not my postal code. But just one to have that there. All right. And then I entered in my username, which does have to be um, a name and then at something.com and usually this could just be your company name whatever or it could be some random name for your username i know salesforce in their trailhead org often has you do things like uh your first and last initial favorite followed by your favorite color i'm going to select register and sign me up so now it is going to email me to confirm that so i will come back when we have that email in our inbox all right, so it's been about 15-ish minutes since we hit go on this other tab that we created that one and we've finally gotten the email. It does take a little bit to do it this way. You can also do it through Trailhead, but if you're just looking for one that's not associated with Trailhead, this is what you're going to do. Um, so now that it's in my email, I am going to verify account. And now it's going to require me to create a password all right and then what city was i born in i'm just going to say i was born in salesforce and change the password so now i can come in and log in and not have to use this login and use this URL and come to the email again, I can also go to login.salesforce.com and be able to log in there. So now what we can do is we can go to the app launcher and we can launch Salesforce CPQ and start playing around with all these different fun features and learning how to use Salesforce CPQ. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like. I'd be willing to do CPQ tutorials in the future, although it is kind of daunting for me. So let me know if that's something that you guys are interested and would like. Be sure to give this video a like, subscribe. You can check out the Salesforce courses down below or on salesforceupscale.com. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at emilycallmba. And you can check out the blog at salesforceemily.com. Thanks so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.